Lauren, you wanted to be in Riverdance your whole life and now you're the lead dancer in the troupe. How did you get there? Well, I think I was about eight years old when I first saw Riverdance on the Eurovision Song Contest. And although I was very young at the time, you know, I did decide there and then, like, yes, this is definitely what I want to do with my life when I'm older. And 20 years later, here I am leading a troupe of amazing dancers around the world with the show. It sounds so exciting to be traveling the world and dancing in such a big show. But is life on the road hard? Life on the road can be tough. You know, we're away from family and friends at maybe five or six months at a time. And then we've got a crazy schedule performing seven or eight performances a week. But it's just one of those things you have to take the good with the bad because you've worked so hard to be there. Irish dancing has got more athletic in the last few years, hasn't it? It definitely has. Um, you find now that Irish dancers, they're not just dancing, they're incorporating so many more things now into their routine. You know, people are swimming, maybe um, taking on yoga and Pilates. I've recently taken on weight training um, with my dancing and the benefits have just been amazing. So there's so much more that comes with it now because dancers are just becoming more and more athletic. When you're actually on stage performing in front of thousands of people, how do you feel? It is an amazing feeling. It's definitely an absolute dream come true and something that I'm so proud of. You know, I'm getting to share the stage with a troupe of world-class dancers and just the atmosphere that the music and, you know, the musicians and the audience creates is definitely something that is hard to beat. Sounds amazing. It is. But I do know that you spent five Christmases in yes. China on tour. Would you believe that? <laughs> you must miss your family and friends. I do, I do. Um, but again, you know, I know that this career isn't going to last forever. Um, so it's just something that does come with the job. And like I said, we've got a brilliant bunch of people on the tour and we are, are like a family and, you know, we do look out for each other when times are tough. And do you ever wish that you had a normal job? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think there's plenty of time for that and you know I absolutely love what I'm doing at the minute, you know it's been my dream from a very young age and I'm just going to make the most of it while I can. 